What's up everybody? Uh, this is part two of how to create a responsive Magento theme. Uh, part one went over a very important uh, file structure and how Magento file structures work. Uh, now we're going to be digging into some CSS and we're going to remove some default CSS. That's going to allow us to uh, make this a bit responsive. Now the quick way to tell if something is responsive or not is to simply resize the browser. And we can see that none of the content stacks below or scales or comes with uh, any of the resizing. So that basically tells us that something over here is uh, either has a width or a minimum width. So I'm just going to right click open up Firebug. And let's see what we got here. Okay, first things first, wrapper. Okay, immediately we can tell that it has a min width of 954, which we can disable in Firebug. So, uh, it's on line 94 of CSS. So, I'm going, and I'll, I'll close this out just so you can follow along. Going to the skin, front end, default, custom theme. That's the uh, theme that I created in the first part. CSS, and we have styles.css. Wonderful. Now I'm going to go to line 94 and just get rid of this min width. Okay. Now there are other things that are going to uh, be contributing to this. I don't think that was the only thing that had a width on the page. So where else can we find some stuff? We have wrapper that we just eliminated the min width. Uh, page doesn't seem to have anything uh, too serious there. Then we have header container. Header container I don't think will have anything. The header container is fine, we can leave that one alone. This one, dot header, or the class header, is going to have a width of 930. So that's on line 514 of our CSS file. So let me go and jump down to 514. And I'm just going to create this as a max width. And the reason I'm not commenting it out completely is because you want it to be within certain constraints. So I could I created a max width, it'll accept a width lower than the max. Uh, let me just go back to Firebug and change this to max width. And the top part I believe might scale now. As you can see it's not being hidden. But there's definitely other things on the page uh, that will be doing that. So, uh, let's dig in again. Let's see here. Main container, nothing. Main, looks like it might have a width. Okay, there, width 900 pixels. So, line 100, we're going to go and change that to max width. So, let me do it here also. And then let me go to here, and it was line 100. Okay, so max width, 900 pixels. There we go. Now, we notice that this part is responding with uh, based on percentages, but something tells me there's something in the footer and I'm right, this is not responding. So, come down here, open up in Firebug, and immediately we can see footer has a width of 930px, which we don't want. Max width, 930px, and that's line 1695, okay.
change that to max width. Great. And let's see what's going on here now. We set this to a max width, so this is being centered. Now you can tell that there's still a scroll bar, so there's something else. I'm going to guess, and I, I pretty much know for sure, that that something else is the uh, nav bar. So, let's see. We have nav here, line 545, with a width. So, I'm going to change that to max width here, and in line 545, uh, we're going to change that to max width in our actual CSS. My favorite saying is, Firebug is not real life. Uh, so, line 545. Let's scroll back up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Change that to a max width. And I'm just going to check my changes in Firebug. And now we can see everything is at least not constrained to some sort of width. Uh, and that is step one of making your theme responsive. Uh, just to make sure that things are not constrained. Now I'll, I'll go ahead and refresh and make sure that my CSS is in effect. And indeed it is. Oh, we have a little bit of something going on here. And I believe that that's the right column that might be doing that. Let's see. Okay, so call right is 195. And that's line 105. Oops. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to change this to max width. And I see the two things above. Change it to max. Change this to max. And let's see what happens when I refresh. Okay, now we don't have a scroll bar yet. Still don't have a scroll bar. Okay, so we've... Uh, freed ourselves from the uh, maximum widths uh, as far as I can tell on this page uh, mostly with uh, with Magento those standard things that you just saw the container main page uh, the navigation bar those are somewhat universal throughout pretty much any page on Magento you're always going to have that container class so by eliminating those things and creating a max width, we really uh, we really chewed out a lot of what we needed to do as far as uh, getting ourselves not so much restricted uh, to those max widths. And now I have a neighbor's dog barking. Uh, but I'm going to end this video, and I'm going to come up in another video, probably in, in about a half hour and we're gonna see what we can do with some grid systems. So hope this helps so far, and I'll be back with you soon.